Right now, I'd like to break down some of what I played in that West Side Magic for Magic Sam. It's a 12-bar blues in the key of B. Um, you can think of it as minor-ish. I kind of think of it as a minor key line played over an ambiguously normal major blues, but um, as long as the four and the five chords you think of as major or dominant seven, you're safe. Um, but it sets up a repeating line, in this case. That is, that is five, seven, one with a trill. And then barring on the top three strings. Now there's kind of an idiosyncratic intro here. It does that for three bars, then goes to the five chord, so. And then for the five. So that is a line. And that's ending in a uh, in an F sharp seven chord, and you're muting the B string, so that's and Sam would end phrases with with chords like that quite a so I really like that on the G string, then jumping up to the E string. And then I'm playing essentially the vocal melody, uh, but I'm doing it with guitar phrasing, and it kind of sounds like the way Tam played guitar to me anyway. Um, actually, it sounds more like the way I would play because Sam didn't really do those, uh, those bends like that, but... It's Sam's phrasing, my touch, my bends. So, bend and release on the B string, and then on the G string. Then ending on that flat seven as a way to take you into an E7 chord. Same voicing. That's... Uh, flat three, two, one. Back to the main riff. So what I'm doing there is, and then going back and forth between the low E string and the top string. And then the second part of the vocal melody. Same thing, except uh, from, that, from that flat seven, I'm sliding down to the six, which takes you into the E7 chord. Then. thing over the five that I, uh, five down to four that I played in the intro. Um, the second chorus is a signature Sam thing where he would essentially play the melody of Ray Charles' Lonely Avenue um, as the first four bars of his solo, but he would do it uh, harmonized with and then that's something that takes some practice. Uh, that's the top three strings at the ninth fret bent up. that seven, and then a, a B9 chord to uh, ramp up to the four chord. That voicing is. And 
then over the four. Cool little phrase that I don't really hear many other people do. Similar. Uh, then to the five. Starting out that phrase the same way it has on the other five chords. So, kind of uh, seesaws its way around the pentatonic scale in an unexpected way. And actually trying to break it down and play it slowly, uh, it's weird. Uh, so from there, sorry. Then for the full solo, I'm going up where, uh, to the position where the ring fingers on the B, on the B string at the 12th fret. Getting some of that fast vibrato. Then going up two frets uh, to suggest E7. So that's uh, on the D string, hammer on the G string. Then going down to almost as uh, an aside or punctuation. And those are some of the ideas I played in that one. Hopefully you can uh, pick apart some of those seesaw phrases and where he would put in chords and riffs and, uh, and apply that to your own playing. Just experiment with some other kinds of songs uh, to apply that kind of phrasing to.